Duckling M1 YouTube channel. I had this comment on my uh, National Debt Clock Fort Peck Dam. And uh, let me read it here real quick. It says, Hey dipshit, the elevation at Fort Peck is about 2,250 um, meaning feet in height and not uh, 21,000. The 21,000 was actually my mistake. It was, it is 2,250. It's not 21,000. The elevation, that's the uh, cubic, I think it's called the cubic yards or something. It's how many, how much water will co cover a, uh, a one acre area one foot deep. It's 21,000 of those, which is a hell of a lot of water it's holding back. Well, anyway, you narrated. Get your facts right, redneck. I grew up in Sioux City, Iowa, and I live in Northern California, and I got a family being affected by the flood. Get your facts right and get a job instead of being on YouTube all day. <laughs> I'm, I'm, on, I'm not just I'm not on YouTube. I'm on various, you know, Internet sites all day. Okay. But, th I mean, this is just pretty crazy. To me, it is. That's why I'm interested in it. I don't know what's going to happen, but this is the um, Missouri River Basin here from Fort Peck Dam here. And it goes down to, can you see this? Wait, I'm trying to hold this in my hand here. St. Louis. Yeah, they're right. This is 22, 100 feet in elevation here, the dam itself. And uh, St. Louis down here is like 100 feet elevation. But the good thing is, from here, to th this is a giant lake. To this giant lake, to another giant lake, in South Dakota, and even the northern part of Nebraska, the, the elevation drop really isn't that much. The elevation drops from like 1,900 feet here to the 100 feet here. This is when everything would pick up if there was a, some sort of breach in these, one of these dams. Oh, sorry. When one of these dams up here, the elevation starts really to decline about this point, and then rapidly to the 100 uh, foot area here down here in St. Louis. But something else I just want to point out here real quick. I'm holding this by my hand, please. Um, what I'm going to do? Edgar Casey. Everybody has Edgar Casey here. He's called the Sleeping Prophet. Lived, he died in like 1936, so he lived back in the late 1800s and um, early part of the 1900s. And um, he was called the Sleeping Prophet. Google his name. It's Edgar Casey, C A Y C E, and do some reading. And one of his predictions, many of his predictions came true. There's stories that people from the stock market would, I mean, Wall Street would come down and talk to him while he's in a trance, and he would give him stock uh, stocks that were that were going to do really well. And some of these are really famous people. And but that's another story. But he also predicted the waters of the lakes will empty into the Gulf. And a couple of times he said this under trance. He says he called it the Great Northern Lakes, or the waters of the North will get empty into the Gulf. And scientists at that time figured, well, the only way that could happen is, is of course, we had this huge earthquake around the, uh, on the Madrid Fault, and a huge crevice would open up in the Earth, of course, and then Lake Michigan, I guess, would just come barreling out of there. Now, Lake Michigan is 600 feet above sea level. And the scientists at that time predicted it would be a 600-foot wall of water coming down the, Missi the Mississippi River Basin. But if you look at the map here, you know, um, Edgar Casey died in 1936. In 1936, none of these lakes were here were, were there. This was just a river. Or, sorry, this was just a river here, up here. There was no, um, well, this was just a river. There was no lakes. So none of these lakes have been created. The uh, Fort Peck Dam was not didn't start uh, did, wasn't start filling until 1940. So um, he died in 1936. He didn't know these lakes would be here when Edgar Casey died. So when he said the Northern Lakes, he just assumed that it was going to be the Great Lakes because they're the only Northern Lakes we had at the time that were of that volume of water. But that's a lot of water, and there's a lot more coming off the mountains here. All these are tributaries coming down off of like, Yellowstone and all that going into this this basin river basin here or sorry river basin here I'm, I can't just look at both of these the screen of my camera and the screen at the same time but um, so I'm recanting the 21,000 foot elevation that's not true it's 2250 feet the 21,000 is, is the volume of this cubic acre of water or whatever the hell it's called that's holding back here at this uh, Fort Peck Lake and um, that's about it stuck out